a didactic style. Preaching is opening the text primarily through a teaching style. This teaching style examines the text for the key ideas and or concepts that can be taught and provides a framework for the learner so she may name and apply these key ideas and her concepts in a practical way. So how does this didactic style work? Um, identify the text, describe the background and setting, that's what you would do as preachers, and then you identify five or six key theological ideas and or concepts and frame these in succinct statements. These statements form the framework for the sermon. They may have illustrations unto themselves, but that is not necessarily necessary, okay? Um, in a lot of contemporary worship settings, uh, a lot of teaching preachers that I see, you walk into the sanctuary, you walk into the worship space, and you get a handout, and it's, um, it has, it's a fill-in-the-blank. Have you seen this? It's a fill-in-the-blank handout, okay? And you're listening as the preacher is preaching. Come on, Rose, stay with me. You're listening. Um, I want to play poker with you because I think it would be easy to, to know whether I could win or lose because everything's on your face, which I love. Um, Rose just went, oh, like that. Um, uh, and so you're listening for key phrases, and sometimes they'll appear on a screen. My little brother, um, uh, Garfield, he's serving a free Methodist church right now in Seattle, and he preaches this way. And so when I walk into his sanctuary, I get a half sheet. There are all these little statements with fill in the blanks, and I'm watching, and people have a pen or a pencil, and they're listening, and they fill in the word that... Um, that whatever from the text that Garfield has decided ahead of time is important. Okay, does that make sense? Do you know what I'm talking about? You won't see that much in the United Church. It's <laughs> <laughs> the kind of silence. The silence. But if, if, so does it, do, the description, does that make sense, Anne? Does the description make sense? I've seen it not in the United Church, but it's okay. definitely churches in Toronto. Uh, so, some of the mega churches, for instance. What's it? And medium small as well? What's the, what's the strength of the didactic style? What's the strength? Moses says it. They learn. Tangible learning. I walk out with a sheet of paper, or um, like, I've seen it sent also, and so you download it and you can, on your iPad or whatever on your phone, and you, you enter it in as you're, as you're listening, right? They walk out and they've got something practical about what this text, what, so what, now what, they got it, okay? What are other strengths of the didactic style? People listen, because they're anticipating, they want to get it right. They want to get the word correctly. Thank you, Rose. Anything else? It's like a game. It's like a game. Ken's right. It's like bingo, right? You're listening for blue 47 and bing, and then you kind of thing, right? And so you fill it in, right? OK. Um, what's your struggles with it? They're dry. They're dry. Ralph says, and Ralph's on it. Nice. It can be pretty dry. Like, if this, is, if this is the, over and over again, it can be pretty, pretty rough. Anything else? It's all left brain. It's all left brain. Oh, good point. Logic is all very left brain style. Thank you. Well said. It looks like a lecture, you know? It looks like a school. Oh, Ricardo, see. Sí. So it's, it's very much, it's a schooling, didactic. It's a schooling model. And who decides what the key ideas are from the text? Uh, the preacher. You do. Because yeah. you're the professional, right? And you're like, yeah, but I don't want to be the only one. Yeah, get over yourselves. Because whether you preach with this style or not, you're still the decider, right? And like you said, you know, that sometimes the focus should be in the answer, not the point. Yeah. You know, and the pastor says, oh, I'm a good, I forgot not to give you the answer. It was that B, not C, you know? Yep. This gives you pretty clear answers. You're exactly right. Which I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ricardo. I understand. Go, Anne. Holy Spirit's at work. <laughs> exactly. And well said. Thank you. That's insightful. Yes. It could be a crisis hits in the congregation or a pastoral crisis, right? And you want to speak to that and address that. And the Holy Spirit's at work. And you can't, you can't um, derivate too far from this because the people are looking to fill in the blanks. The text is pretty, is pretty much there. Although those who preach with this style tell me, oh, come on, Roger. It's not that rigid. It's like, it's possible to not fill in the blanks on that day. Go. I need to defend it a little bit, though. My daughter said to me, Dad, you preached the gospel white. 
I'm going to a church where I get that kind of life group, and he's a brilliant lecturer. Norm? He's got, and, and the church is packed. It's packed. It's packed. And if you want to complain about biblical illiteracy, and then you preach theology light, which I don't think you do, but I mean, I don't know you, but I, you know, um, but then, then yeah, people are learning about the Bible, right? They're learning. It's a teaching style. Ricardo's exactly right. Pastor's exactly right. That this is a teaching style. Please. The other thing they liked is that all of these folks, the 6,000 who attend on the weekend, went to university. So the culture looks the same. Yep. What they had in- it's very comfortable. It's a schooling style. And they get to walk out tangibly with, I've, I've taken notes, etc. Well, you can zone out if you want. You can. And they'll actually post, like my brother, uh, little brother, they'll post the correct form, right? <laughs> Afterwards, so in case you missed it, you can fill in the blank, right? So I, I don't want you, out of your arrogance, your liberal progressive arrogance, to dismiss it and say, oh, that's so sad, okay? Because there are some people for whom this is resonant. And I appreciate the brain issue, right? There are some people who are saying, I don't know what you people are talking about. You're just like painting little roses in the sky. Get down to the ground and give me something about Jesus. And, and I can fill in the blank, right? Okay? <laughs>